for some reason we gotta turn into this sketchy ass road to get to uh I guess our hostel. Supposedly it's modern hostel, but this doesn't look too modern already. But without paying like a taxi or a tuk tuk to take this because they can overcharge you and blah blah blah. So we are taking the train, subway, to another station and from there we gotta find a boat and see if the boat can take us and then from there figure out how to get there. But we are gonna figure this out. Too good. Yeah, Leo fell asleep, so took a good nap. <laughs> so I am now He's not ready to on walk. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you recorded me? I did. Now how we get out of here. I guess we go through this. This wonderful made bridge for
So I really don't know what were the tickets for because they didn't even check didn't them. Even ask. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you might want to pay just to do the right thing, but it's like 50 cents. But if you're broke, <laughs> you can just take the boat for free if you get lucky, I guess. So now we got to walk for like 30 minutes, I believe. 34 to be exact. Hello. Cute. Like high school. They're so friendly. Yeah. I don't even know us, and they're just like, hi. I guess this is like uh, poor people living under the bridge, maybe. Very. I, feel like, I like that little park over there with the kids. It was nice. Yep. Oh, look, people are swimming. Oh, yeah. People are swimming in that uh, beautiful water. Oh, the months. There's two guys right there, and the monks over there taking a bath. <laughs> okay, so we finally made it. I feel like it was a little bit longer than 30 minute walk, but it was so worth it. We are finally at Wat Arum and it is a very famous temple in Thailand. And the whole trip to get here was really cheap and it was actually really easy to get here. We started at uh, Sala Dang, uh, BTS station, and we went from there, we went to, um, what is it called? Tas, tax, tax, Taxin. It's on the video. It's, it's on, okay. And then from there we took a boat to Raijin and then from there we, at our stop, we walked 35 minutes to get here. And it's a really good time to come around like 5.30 because they close at 6 and there's really nobody here and it's really quiet. So you don't have to worry about other people getting in your photos. But um, we finally made it. It's 50 baht per person to get it in. it is 50 baht per person to get in. We spent a total of, I think it was 60 for the train, for two people. Yeah, for two people so from Saladang to, to that one station. To the other station was only 60 for both of us, so 30 per person. And then the tickets for the boat was 15 baht each, which is 50 cents, so it's super cheap. And they didn't even check for our tickets, so. And then here is 50 baht per person to get in. So. So, the lights came on. It's beautiful, as you can see. My phone is dying. It will be dead in a couple of minutes. And he does not have service. So we gotta figure out how to get home. And we don't wanna take a tuk-tuk and we don't wanna take a taxi because it'll be too much. So we gotta figure out how to get back home, try and remember our way back, and try and take a boat again, and then try and take a, the subway again, which that'll, that'll be easy. So it should take about an hour, 15 minutes. And we will let you know if we make it. So we made it pretty far. Like, that GPS looks like. We're probably like 10 minutes away from the pier. Yeah. And hopefully and 10 minutes away from pouring down rain. Yeah, because the clouds got black. 
like at 6.30. Stop at a 7 Eleven to buy raincoats because again it started raining. Nothing new. But we made it to the dock, which is number seven for uh, six. Number seven. I'm looking at it. Oh. For Rajane. So right now we are waiting on the boat and it's the last boat of the day. So we have to catch it for 7.45. And it is 7.35. And after that, we gotta walk wherever we wanna walk. All right, we gotta take the train. True, we have to take the train, which that's super easy. And there's thunderstorm right now basically coming. Yeah, it's a, it's a thunderstorm. There's lightning in the sky. We can see the temple from here, What uh, Arun. It's beautiful, but... Starting at, what is it, Saladang? Yeah. Started at Saladang because we're leaving to go to Sukhothai. So we have to take a bus to get there and it's going to be like seven hours. But we took the Saladang train to Siam and then uh, Siam to Mochit. And then we took a taxi from Mochit's um, uh, subway station to the Mochit bus station. So we oh, asked the guy happened. if we could come and sit in the front because there was nobody sitting here. So he said that it would be okay. that's okay. So we come we came and sit in the front. We were actually sitting like three seats back. So But why do we view. want to sit here? So we can see get the VIP. So we'll be the first one to die. Yep. So we're finally in Sukhothai. We made it. Six, maybe six, seven. Seven, yeah, seven hours. Seven hours later. Actually, seven and a half hours later. Um, this is like the countryside of Thailand. It's so cool out. Feels really good. Yeah. Uh, this used to be actually the first capital of Thailand. I don't know how many years ago. Um, but it looks. There's like no buildings, no sky, skyscrapers, so we can't see much from on this side anyways. I don't know if this is the new Sukhothai or the old Sukhothai. I don't, we really don't know where we, are, where we are at. So from the bus station, we have to walk for like 30 something minutes. What's up? Literally two seconds ago, I just clicked it and we were like up here. I click it and I'm like, okay, we have a little bit more to go. It has us all the way over here. For some reason, we got to turn into this sketchy ass road to get to, uh, I guess, our hostel. So, mostly it's modern hostel but this doesn't look too modern already well it could be you just have to walk down the sketchy road to get there they can only do so much so yeah, the hopefully we'll make it shut up we'll make it <laughs> wild see. hyenas and the tigers it's getting Could it be a snake or an alligator? Hmm. That'd be bad if the GPS did turn there. I really hope it gets better than this. <laughs> I don't like dogs. 
dogs when they bark at me. Especially not street dogs. <laughs> oh, there's nothing there. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Okay. Hold on. Exit. That way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Okay, so that was like a shortcut, I guess, to get to. Instead of walking through the highway, it made us go through that sketchy ass road. Even though the people were really friendly there, there was just too many straight uh, street dogs that were that kept barking at us. It looked like they wanted to attack us, so it was kind of. Uh, that dog. Like, scary but we're good we're out of that sketchy street okay so really close to our hostel we have a night market oh we actually turn in here okay actually I guess our hostel it's inside the night market damn that smells good it smells like sugar nah that's that's just too much condensed milk. So many people. Okay, so this is the hostel. sentence what a what what a life what a life <laughs> We never know what day it is because we don't care, we just go day by day. <laughs> They're thinking about work tomorrow already. <laughs> that is true. It's really stressing. <laughs> 